Hey guys, Parfax here, and today we're bringing you a video about scaling in New World. All right, let's get started. So I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to New World, I kind of play around with my attributes a lot. Whether you put 50 points into con, the rest into your damage stats, whether you put 300, 200, or well, where do you put them? It's very easy to understand when it comes to passives, which ones are the best, or at least we're gonna give you some damage or tankiness, but sometimes we don't really know how far you should go over 300, and is there really diminishing returns on those while scaling? So this video is gonna help you decipher that. We're gonna do a couple different weapons. First, we're gonna start off with a bow. That's gonna be a weapon that scales at 100%, and then we're gonna do a double-statted weapon, you know, something like the rapier that we have here, and we're gonna test whether you can scale dexterity if it, or whatever primary stat if you get more by going like that or if you get more by going into the secondary stat. So we're gonna go the bow first and I did take out a passive that I normally do get. I normally have this passive right here. You'll 20% extra damage to any foes as long as you haven't damaged them in the last 10 seconds, but it kind of messes up the test a little bit. So we're not gonna take that point and we're just gonna hit this test dummy right here. And let's see, you can see here we are at 300 dexterity on the nose and it doesn't really matter, but you can see our bow, it is enchanted, keenly empowered. Actually, let's see if we can get one that's not uh, keenly empowered. All right, because that's just gonna make the test go a little bit faster here. Okay, so this is gonna be our baseline. We are gonna hit it in the head and we got 2596, 2596. Okay, cool, really good base stat. So let's go up 50 points. We go 50 points and 27.59. We'll do it again. 27.59. Now we're gonna go through pretty quickly, and we're just gonna put another 50 points. 400. 29.21. Another 50 points. Oop. And we are at 30.84. Okay, so. I'll be back in one second. We're gonna bring you the exact numbers and we'll talk about it here in a second. All right, be back in a second. All right, so here are the numbers for the bow. As you can see here, our baseline at 300 dexterity was 2596. Then we went to 350, it gave us approximately a 6.2% increase. Now, all these numbers are rounded. So even the last one is rounded. So if you don't get the numbers exactly right, just know they are rounded. And then we have a 400, we got another, an additional 5.9% increase. And then at 450, we got an additional 5.6% increase. And if you total it up, if you take the difference between 3,084 and 2,596, it gives us a whopping 18.8% increase. Now, I know a lot of people have been conditioned to say, look, you don't go over 300 because you have diminishing returns. And as you can see, that technically is true. We see here that we're essentially getting about three tenths of a percent less each time we put an additional 50 points in, but we're still getting over 5% damage for 50 points into decks for the bow. It is pretty crazy. Now, just to see if this is the exact same, we're probably gonna do this on the uh, we'll do the fire staff as well just to see if that is good, but we'll do that after the rapier All right now here. We're gonna test the rapier Wow now that you saw how what a big DPS increase it is to put the extra points on the bow next We're gonna text rapier and then finally we're gonna test probably the fire staff So let's start out with 300 dexterity and we're gonna go 300 dexterity We're gonna do the same thing up to 450 and then we're gonna put it into intelligence. Now, it is pretty self-explanatory that if you're gonna scale these weapons, you'd much rather get the passive points through the other side, but just for testing sake, we're gonna test it the same way, and then we're gonna take it off, and then we're gonna put it into intelligence just to kind of see where we should best put our stats. Okay, first let's start. We gotta do a baseline of 300 dexterity. And you can see, here, um, our weapon is nothing special at all. We have nothing that's going to affect it. So let's go ahead and hit it. We got a baseline of 1405. 
All right, let's go ahead and now points into dexterity again. 1489. Let's go ahead and 50 more. 1573. And then finally 50 more. 1657. All right, now we're gonna respec. We're gonna go back to 300. And now we're gonna put 50 points into intelligence. Okay. All right, we have 1519. Already we can see there is a DPS increase here. Okay, let's go another 50 points. 1646, we are already above what we were before. And for the last 150 points, we have 1747. And as you can see here in our weapon, I keep hitting tab on accident. We just have a Malachite. We don't have an elemental gem in there. Uh, we can go ahead and slot the elemental gem just to show you the kind of the DPS increase here. And then, wow, yeah, it's, it's well, uh, crit. so much more damage. But, all right, next I'm going to show you the breakdown just like we did on the boat. And then we're going to get to the fire staff. All right, see you in a second. All right, so here are the rapier stats. Now, if you look at these percentages and they seem a little off, trust me, they are correct. You can go ahead and throw them in a calculator and actually look at them. I double check the numbers, but with all the rounding and stuff like that, it kind of throws the percentages off, but just know that this is a sort of relative term. So here we have 300 decks to 350. We're going to gain right around 6% extra damage. Then going from 350 to 400, we're gaining an additional 5.6. And then from 400 to 450, we're going to gain an additional 5.3. And then if you take the difference between 300 and then we slap in another 150 decks, that is going to give us approximately 18% more damage, which is pretty good. Now, where it gets really interesting, we're going to go to the int side. Now, we stayed at 300 decks, and instead, we're going to put 50 points into int. It's going to give us an additional 8.1% damage. And then from 50 int to 100 int, it's given us an additional 8.3% damage. I was very shocked. I actually went back and retested all of these off camera and they are exactly what they are. So a little bit interesting scaling here. And then from 100 int to 150 int, we got 6.1% increase in damage. And then uh, we have a total of 24.3% damage versus the 18% damage you get for stacking decks. Now, just to kind of throw that out there, I did put the int gem in there and it gave us, an, or sorry, the 200 int, uh, it gave us an additional 5.2% damage. The reason why I wanted to go ahead and put the extra 50 int in there was because I wanted to see if the trend of severely getting diminishing returns would go, and it does. So we're, we drop off really hard. We're not dropping off at 0.3. We're dropping off in percentage points now. And then, like you, like I showed you there in the with the Ellie Gem 1867, that was with it 150 int, and it gave us almost 33% extra damage versus the 24 that's only given us about 18 or sorry 8 percent extra damage uh which is kind of interesting but i want to just throw that out there anyway now with how interesting these stats are we're going to try another weapon uh with the dual stats and then we're going to try the fire staff i'm not going to bore you with showing you every single one or at least in normal speed we're gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna record it, and then we're gonna get back to the screen to kind of make it a little bit faster for you. All right, well, let's test another dual stat weapon. All right, so we're gonna test the blunderbuss, and so we're gonna start, you can see here, we have 300 strength, but we're gonna go ahead and test it really quickly. We're not gonna do a voiceover over it, but just know that we're not looking at every single shot. They're all gonna be exactly the same. So we're just looking at what that number is with a non-crit. We're gonna start at 300 strength. We're gonna do the normal thing where we're gonna go all the way up to 450 strength, and then we're gonna put it into int. All right, enjoy the test.
right, so here we have the blunderbuss and you're gonna see an extremely similar, tr you know, stat points as the rapier. We have a 5.9% increase, which is a little bit lower than the rapier when it comes from 300 to 350 strength. And then 5.6, 5.3, going down by 0.3 with a little under an 18% total there. And then instead, if we stack strength, we go 8.1, 8.4, 6.1, and a little over a 24% increase. And then again, I went ahead and did the 100. We only had 199 because they didn't give us a 600 weapon on the PTR. But again, it was a 5.01. So it was just, it was dipping down quite a bit. It seems for whatever reason, you put the first 100 points in there and you get the biggest bonus possible. And then after that, it starts dipping down. But even then, uh, it's still worth it to go from the uh, 100 points into int to the 150 is better than even putting 50 points into strength. All right, the last weapon we're gonna test is the fire staff, see if it is very similar to the bow. And again, we're gonna kind of speed run it so you guys don't have to sit here and watch the same thing over and over again. So we will go ahead and do that now. All right, here's the fire staff stats and they are eerily similar to the bow. And as you can see here, we're gonna get 6.2, 5.8, 5.6 and a total of 18.7%. The numbers are a little bit wonky there, but it's only because of rounding, but you can go ahead and check all the numbers to yourself. And uh, you can see that you're gonna come up with the same stats here. And this just tells you if you want more damage, of course, it's okay to put extra stats in your stat pool. 50 points for 6.2% damage is absolutely pretty crazy. And of course, if you're a weapon like the bow, the fire staff, the great axe, the war hammer, if you have one stat, you're obviously going to put points into there. But if you are a buy stat weapon that scales off of two different stats, you want to make sure you are putting it into that second category because it is going to scale a lot harder. This is something that I had theorized in the past, but I never had actually sat down and tested it and to run the numbers and it's pretty crazy now if you were asking why didn't i do spear why didn't i do like hatchet uh, the main reason why i didn't do those is because well to be fair some of those weapons they have some passives that can really affect it and as long as we were doing int weapons uh we could really scale it in ways that the passives don't affect it so we don't have to figure out exactly how much each passive is actually given us even though the tooltips supposed to be say it but we know the tooltips aren't always right all right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below if you like this type of video and let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.